Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Um, I've seen a report of how Matt Rule is handling some of his players. Uh, Josh Fleeks, he sent him home for being too fat, apparently. A running back, wide right receiver, whatever he plays. He's a really good player. I saw him at Baylor. And Miles Farmer, the second leading tackler for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. He's not, he didn't get sent home, but he's suspended indefinitely for not, I guess, following rules or whatever. Here are my thoughts on that. First point, uh, for first for starters, good job, coach. I think that's great. You know. Um, secondly, the reason why I'm saying good job is because it's his first year at Nebraska. He's trying to establish things his way. He wants things done a certain way. You know. I think he's prepared for this season not to. He wants to win, but any first year coach that's walking into a, a program and they're trying to set things a certain way or do things a certain way. And the players aren't really not buying into it, but they're like, man, nah, I got to do that. That don't apply to me. You know, they're just choosing not to do it. The coach is prepared for things not to not go. They'll accept that their first year in order for next year to be like, hey, this is what I want. Do you get the message now? Do you want to play here? You want to play here? Behave. If not, get out. I, I think you saw Mike Norvell going through a similar thing like that at Florida State. Mario Cristobal in his first year in Miami, and now Deion Sanders with Colorado. They've all three of them have either gone through changes or are changing their roster because players, the current players of that program, don't want to do things a certain way. I think you see that with those guys. So I think it's great that Matt Rule is establishing that because it's for, it's, uh, for year one, he's setting a foundation. So year two, you'll see more because Matt Rule is a guy that wants to be there for the long term, which is why I said he would be a good fit for Nebraska because at Baylor, he did the same thing. They weren't very good for his first year. Second year, still not great. Third year, they went to the Sugar Bowl. So it's amazing. I think he's a good coach. I think he's a perfect guy for Nebraska. Now, as far, in terms of how um, Josh Fleeks are doing and Miles Farmer, I hope they get a chance to play. I really do because – the. I don't know much about Miles Farmer. I just know he's the second leading tackler. I mean, I didn't watch much of Nebraska last year except for the, um, uh, the Iowa game that they won. And I saw when they lost to Oklahoma. I picked them to beat Oklahoma last year. I know Josh Fleeks from Baylor very well because I'm a big fan of this team. He scored some touchdowns against him, so I know. Uh, he played against him, so he's a great player. Hopefully he... Gets himself right and has his right mindset. If he doesn't get a chance to play at Nebraska, I hope he goes somewhere because he's a real talented player. He should be playing football. But if Coach Rule says, hey, I want things done a certain way. I want this being done. You need to be taking care of yourself outside of football camp. You should be doing that. If not, get out. And he's making an example out of those guys for the rest of the program. Say, hey, if you ain't with my program, this is what's going to happen to you. So I don't think he's being too hard. I think he's doing the right thing. I really do. So. Hats off to Coach Rule and those other two players. I hope they get a chance to play, especially Farmer. He's a good, um, apparently he's a good player, second leading tackler for any team. That's pretty awesome. So, Fleeks, get right, man.